Welcome back to the February edition of the Library Road Show. I mentioned the telltale heart earlier, and all kidding aside, sometimes we really need to focus on taking care of our hearts. So I'm delighted to chat with Advocate for Healthy Living and founder of Bonap, Laurent Adamowitz. Laurent, what's Bonap? Bonap is a free application that helps you find out what's in your food in a language you understand. So that for the first time, unlike a nutrition label on a box that doesn't tell you much, for the first time you can say, you can see how much sugar, how much salt, how much bad fat there is in any item you pick up. Just say it to your phone and you get the response, the reply right here on your screen. Okay, what's this I hear about a pilot program and survey that's going to launch in March? Here comes the uh, new initiative by the um, East Baton Rouge Parish Library uh, that we really are proud at Bon App. It gives the ability for any of the members to sign up right on the website on the page that links directly to Bon App and to take a short survey and participate in a pilot program that we're expanding in Baton Rouge right now uh, out of two middle schools with whom we're working already. Uh, as you take the survey in March, this creates a baseline of what kind of awareness you have about your food, what type of habits you have about your food, what type of things you like to eat or don't like to eat. And as you take the survey again in June, we'll be able to compare. So make sure you take it in March and in June and participate in the Bon App study with us. This smartphone app, Bon App, it's free, right? Yes, Bon App is free. It is free uh, on the phone. It is free access anywhere. Um, you have it available on the iTunes Store, on the Android Google Play, so any kind of phone that uses apps, you can get it for free. Not only this, but once you download it, you can register for free and you'll get more information. Not just how much sugar, salt, and bad fat there is in every food item you're interested in, whether it's branded or fresh, but also you'll get the amount of fiber and protein. So if you exercise, you come walking to the library, you wanna know how much you burn? Well, here is the answer as to what's in the food you're gonna take uh, to replenish. Laurent, thanks so much for sharing your new Bon App with us today. Well, thank you for having us and inviting Bon App into your community. We're very excited about the survey and very excited about reading about the comments uh, from your members. We'll have that survey posted throughout March, and we'll be adding some special info guides related to healthy living, too. I've already got my app loaded on my phone, and I'm looking forward to sharing a healthier lifestyle with the folks I know. Don't forget, you can use the online catalog from home to search for books on healthy living, as well as related magazines, audiobooks, and DVDs. And you can even check out lots of health-focused magazines in our new Xenio collection. All you need is your library card. Hello out there in TV land. Today we have a craft for all you sweeties out there. Valentine love bugs. Let's see how buggy about we can be. For this craft, you will need construction paper in red, pink, white, and black. You'll need one white pipe cleaner, a glue stick or rubber cement, some tape, and googly eyes if you choose. Mary loves googly eyes. Or you can use construction paper. First things first, you're gonna trace or you can freehand cut out a large heart on some red construction paper. Next, after you finish cutting, you can make three smaller hearts out of the pink construction paper as well. You're going to set the hearts aside as you create the legs for your love bug. You're going to grab your black paper and you're going to cut out four rectangles. These little rectangles are going to be used as the legs. As you can see from our lovely model, you can use as many rectangles as you like for legs. We used six originally and today we're going to use four. While using the glue stick, you're going to glue your pink hearts right on top of your red ones. You want to place them strategically on two sides, and one is going to go on the back that's going to be the head of your love bug. Next, you can start to attach the legs to your love bug. Put them down at the bottom, not too far, not too close to one another. But make sure you have the same amount on each side. No one wants an extra luggy love bug. Then using either your googly eyes or your construction paper, you can make eyes and place them at the top of your heart. This will make a cute buggy face. 
Lastly, you're gonna get your lovely pipe cleaner. You might have to cut it in half and they will form cute little antennas. When you finish, give your special Valentine and there you have it, a cutesy wootsy little love bug. Who's your special Valentine, Darlin? Of course, Madison. Ah, oh, lovely, my special Valentine is Scott. And this craft ends happily the ever after. after. The Library Road Show will be back in a moment. Coming up after the break, a spotlight of just a few of our upcoming events on the library community calendar. And remember, all the events are free with your library card. <laughs> 